with all that hype around Cyberpunk 2077, we thought we'd give you your Cyberpunk fix on the Nintendo Switch. Let's jump in and look at 20 Cyberpunk games you can play on the Nintendo Switch. Let's get into it. Hunt Down is an action comedy shooter in which the streets of the future are filled with criminal gangs who rule and where cops are nowhere to be seen. Here you take down the criminal gangs in the super fun game in which you have hand-painted 16-bit pixel art visuals with a fluid 60 frames per second, making this an absolute joy to play. This is filled with bad guys and bosses ready for you to take them down and claim their arsenal of weapons. A super fun game indeed and one very well recommended. Easily. I'll blow your head off. Her jacket size says 38. Special. And her favorite smell is fear. Die. <laughs> hey, thanks, Juan, and hey, everyone, it's James here. Observer is a first person psychological horror game set in a cyberpunk world, heavily inspired by the likes of Blade Runner. It provides slow paced eeriness set inside an apartment complex. As a neural detective, you hack into the unstable minds of criminals and victims to look for clues. You will see their darkest fears, forcing you to question your own reality. It really has its disturbing moments and gives off a bleak atmosphere that's unmatched. Check out our review for more on this one. Fear Effect Sedna is a game which met with mixed reviews along with ours. We were not overly impressed, but we certainly have people telling us that they rather enjoyed it, so it's still a game you may want to consider from this list. This sequel will put your stealth and strategy skills to the test, where you will encounter mystical forces and supernatural creatures of the spirit realm, using a vast array of weapons and character abilities to get through. As I said, not one of our favorite games on the list, but many of you on our Discord still recommend it. So check it out in the link below if you want to join us on Discord so we can discuss. Astral Chain is one of the essential cyberpunk style games on the Switch. Developed by Platinum Games and published by Nintendo, this has AAA quality written all over it. Here you control the protagonist and a legion simultaneously to chain stylish combos. You can change legions on the fly to vary your style and unleash a variety of abilities. Fantastic action set in a really interesting world. This should be right up there as a priority purchase on the Switch. Check out our review for more information on this one by clicking up at the top right hand corner. In State of Mind, we have a story-driven game. You are a journalist who wakes up in hospital after an explosion in the year 2048. Your wife and son have mysteriously vanished. Here you get to experience a vision of the near future in this multi-layered sci-fi thriller. You play as Richard Nolan, one of five playable characters, and will use dexterity and deductional skill and research to reconstruct his past. It's certainly something a little different in a game I rather enjoyed. Everything that bots, drones, cabs, and hololenses see and hear, sense and do, you can reconstruct anyone's life with all that information. Valhalla is one of the best visual novel games on the Switch. This is subtitled Cyberpunk Bartender Action, and for very good reason. Set in a cyberpunk world, you mix and serve drinks to customers. You give them what they want, the more they open up to you. This oozes style and has a phenomenal soundtrack which gives it a really nice atmosphere, highly recommended to fans of visual novels. This one's a bit different. Red Strings Club sounds like somewhere my friend mentioned when walking through Amsterdam. Now, Red Strings Club is a cyberpunk narrative experience about fate and happiness. Here as a bartender, you get to read your customer's mood and mix them a cocktail to manipulate the client's emotions to gather information to progress your own agenda. Certainly not a bar I want to go to. You can also design genetic implants and assume differing voices. 
If you want something a little different, then this is certainly recommended and still gives you that cyberpunk dose. Twenty sixty four read only memories is yet another cyberpunk visual novel. This is one that we reviewed for the channel back in the day. It was produced by the same company as Valhalla, which means you know there's going to be quality here. It has a distinctive old school adventure feel to it. So if you enjoy games such as Ace Attorney or perhaps Monkey Island, then you'll enjoy this one too. Check out our review for a bit more information on this one. Able and willing to help me. Cadence. Yes. Well, one way to sour my night. Black Future 88 is a retro take on cyberpunk, a dystopian future in this roguelike action shooter where you will vertically climb to the top of an evolving tower and when you reach the top you'll need to kill its owner. All this before your heart explodes. Should give you enough motivation then to dash, shoot and slash while upgrading yourself to survive traps, homicidal AI and wardens in this alternate reality of 1988. You can play any of the five playable characters, each having their own buffs and weaknesses, and I absolutely love this game. It has a place in my physical collection. Pride of place indeed. Great synth music, visuals, and so very playable. Now all of the games, if they do have a physical in this list, I will link them in the description under Amazon UK or USA, and all of your support, if you're gonna purchase these games anyways, is much appreciated. Never give up. The world is devoid of hope. Hidden dealers sell weapons, blood packs, ammo crates, and stems. Discover companions by unlocking the tower's secrets. Team up with allies and local co-op. Or steal their assets and turn them into... Dex is a great cyberpunk 2D adventure game. It has a high focus on platforming and exploration with plenty of RPG elements that you'd expect to find in a cyberpunk game. Each mission you get can be solved in many different ways, allowing you lots of experimentation and choice, a good story and solid gameplay. This is definitely one to note down. Critics were not particularly kind to it, but consumers reacted positively to this one and it's regularly brought up in discussions Most in our Discord. AI ever created. Ray Cass says you're the avatar of Kether, but all I care about is keeping you alive. Cloudpunk is another game that I recently reviewed for the channel and while it's not the best game on this list it's more down to the fact that the port is not the best rather than the game itself not being very good. Seem to have had that same issue elsewhere lately have we not. In any case while there was quite a few bugs and performance issues I still managed to enjoy my time with it although I would probably recommend playing it on another system which is more capable. Still, this has neon noir story drenched in a cyberpunk metropolis where you work as a delivery driver. While there is no sort of action to speak of or death in sight, there is an allure to the city and meeting its inhabitants, all the while uncovering more and more about the city and cloudpunk itself who you work for. Akana is a fun game for those who like arcade score attacks, simple in its scope and gameplay. This arcade hack and slash has that just one more go vibe to it as you try to survive waves of enemies. It's priced cheaply and recently featured in our video detailing the best games under five bucks. As long as you don't go expecting something revolutionary, you can have fun with this cheap, cheerful game. Neocab is another visual novel, although this one is a bit less traditional. It has a choose your own adventure vibe as you take on the role of the last human taxi driver. You'll be picking up passengers and trying to get clues whilst trying to maintain a five star rating. The story is really good and the world is well developed. Definitely one to look into if you can't get enough of cyberpunk stories. I loved Runa when it dropped on the Nintendo Switch and I got to review it for the channel. Do Devolver Digital ever publish a bad game because it seems like they only get involved with bangers and this is another. This is an action shooter set in 2091. You're a wired sociopath and you'll do what needs to be done to retrieve your brother and uncover the truth under the guidance of your hacker friend. If you love cyberpunk then this has an arsenal to match. With awesome gadgets that you can use to take down enemies, I had a lot of fun hacking the opposition so they would fight for me instead. An absolute must for your collection and available in physical form.
Final Fantasy VII probably won't be at the top of many people's lists when it comes to Cyberpunk, but thinking more deeply about it, it definitely has a lot of hallmarks of a Cyberpunk world, especially in the opening segments. Genetically engineered soldiers, characters with guns for arms, power hungry corporations and oppressed people. It's not a direct fit into the genre like most on this list, but any excuse to talk about Jordan's favourite game of all time and we're going to take it. Ghost Runner is a pretty new addition to the Nintendo Switch lineup, having released only on the 9th of December, and is what this list is all about. Set in a cyberpunk megastructure, here you must climb Dharma Tower, humanity's last shelter. This is a fast-paced FPP slasher full of fast-paced action. What I love about this is just how satisfying the nature of slashing enemy after enemy is, with its one-hit kills, which makes this even more intense a must have for those of you that love games which are fast and brutal in a world where you must do anything to survive all Dharma city residents should remain indoors for their own safety grid retro enhances an on rails arcade shooter similar to something like space harrier this is a cyber hunt theme of you hacking as you avoid enemies and obstacles it's visually an attack on the senses with its overpowering neons and grids that is a love letter to early cyberpunk media it has a really belting soundtrack too Transistor is a glorious indie game made by the people that brought you Bastion and Hades, which are fabulous games in their own right. Here we have a sci-fi themed action RPG where you get to wield an extraordinarily powerful sword of unknown origin. You get to fight in a superb looking futuristic city. To beat this game, you'll need to have a strategy because while the action is fast, a plan here wins the day. The soundtrack is great, the visuals are absolutely gorgeous, but best of all, the gameplay is fluid and satisfying to play, a must. Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story isn't out on the Switch yet, but you won't have to wait long until you can get your hands on this horror-themed cyberpunk adventure game. This has fantastic style and a great premise, mixing slow-paced puzzle solving with survival horror. It's oozing with atmosphere and has a lot of potential to be pretty good. We can't wait to get our hands on this one, in January when it lands. If you love games such as Duke Nukem 3D, Shadow Warrior and Blood, then this is going to satisfy you for sure. This is classic 90s FPS shooter with some modern additions such as seamless level transitions and there's no procedural level generation here. All levels are crafted with multiple paths, effects and set pieces. Here you play as Shelley Bombshell taking on the evil mastermind Dr. J. Heskell in the streets of Neo DC. This is running and gunning just how you like it. A great game and a worthy addition to our cyberpunk game list. That ladies and gents sums up our list of cyberpunk games on the Nintendo Switch which we've enjoyed. But are there any that you would add? If so, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, hit that thumbs up button. And lastly, thank you to all of our members, subs and watchers for making these videos possible. If you are new here, then don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe and turn that bell on for notifications. I'll put some videos up above and we'll see you over there. Take care, everybody. See you soon on the next one.